Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the trim function to remove spaces in two different examples. Now why would we want to remove spaces? Let's say for example that we want to do a lookup. Let's say well, I have a part number here and I have another table that has a part number but has a cost and I want to look up the cost in this table. So let's say we are using a VLOOKUP function, or lookup function to go ahead and look up uh, this part number and bring back the cost. Let me go ahead and tab and I'm going to look up this value and in this table I'm going to go ahead and do a, a function f4 to lock that in because when I copy it down that needs to stay the same but a2 will become a3 when I copy it down. So in that table I want to look up the second column here two, and then the range lookup I want to do an exact match. I'm going to go and select that. Close parentheses, press enter and it looks like it didn't find it. And it looks like it's the same. So let me go ahead and just drag this down to copy the formula down. And it looks like it could not find any of these, even though they look like they're the same. And the reason why is there is a space at the end. So if this was a small table, it'd be fairly easy to go ahead and just kind of uh, backspace, press return, and you notice now, be, now it comes up. But if this was a long table, instead of having uh, these three values, let's say at 100, 200, 1,000 values, you don't want to go ahead and remove space like that. I mean, you can do a find and replace, but so there's something easier that you can do, and you can use the trim function. So what the trim function does, let me go ahead and undo that. Uh, let me go Control Z to undo. What the trim function does is it removes unwanted spaces. So spaces at, at the beginning uh, of the value in the cell or at the end of the cell, it won't remove spaces at the in the middle. Uh, it will assume those spaces are okay. But what it does is it will, it will remove leading and trailing spaces. And what I can do is just type equal trim tab and then the text. So it's going to be that text. And then I'll just go, go ahead and close parentheses and press enter. Now it looks like it's the same. So let me go ahead and uh, just kind of drag the fill handle down here. And we have our uh, values here from this cell uh, minus the leading and trailing spaces. So what I can do is I can take that control C to copy, bring it over here, and then uh, paste just the values. I don't want to paste the formula, the function here. I just want to paste the values. So once I click on that, you'll see now the lookup cost has come back correctly. So that's one, one way that we can use a trim function to remove spaces. Now, here's another example of where it might not work as well. Let me go to example two here. So let's say, for example, here we're doing the same thing. We're, we do a VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. I want to look up this particular cell, comma, in this table array. And go ahead and uh, function F4 to lock that into place. And then I want to find bring back the second column of data. And then I want to do a uh, exact match. Let me go ahead and click on that. And then close parentheses, press enter. We have the same here. Let me go ahead and uh, double click this to fill the formula down. And we can see, well, let's try to do the trim function here. Equals trim. And then over here, close parentheses, press enter. Let me go ahead and uh, double click it. To, oops, well, let me go ahead and just fill it down here. And control C to copy. And then just paste the values. And really, nothing has really happened. And and that's because there is a different space here. So if I click over here, and I go and I look at that, there is that space that's still there. And the reason why this happened it is because it's a different type of space. What happened is, so instead of having a regular space, which trim will find, it has something called a non-breaking space. So this is very common of uh, text that you would find on the web if you copy and paste it into Excel, you'll see this non-breaking space. And in the ASCII code, A-S-C-I-I, it's a different number. So the number for a space is 32, and the number for a non-breaking space is 160. So this looks like, when I look click here in cell E9, we see this code, and what the code does is it looks at uh, the value in a cell and brings back the code number, the ASCII code for it. So the code for space is 32. See cell D9? There's a space here. If I highlight the form of the, the formula bar up here and I kind of uh, select it, we have a space here, and that space is a regular space. If I highlight here, that particular space is a non-breaking space, and this code brings this code of D10 brings back the non-breaking space number of 160. So what we can do here is we can also use the trim function. So what I want to do here is I want to take 
uh, what's in this particular cell, substitute any of the non-breaking spaces with a space, and then the trim function will go ahead and take care of that and remove that space. So what I'm going to do is use the substitute function, S U S B. go ahead and just tab it to complete it. And I'm going to take this text and comma, what's the O text? So the O text is going to be the character. Anything that has a character, I'm going to go char, character of um, 160, 160, and then substitute that with the new character, 32, char, uh, tab to open that, 32, close parentheses, and now I'm still in the substitute function, so I'm going to put a closing parentheses there, and that closes this trim function. So I'll press enter. Whoops. I needed to have an extra closing parentheses. I'll accept Excel's correction for that. Click yes. So let me go ahead and drag the fill handle down here, and it'll copy that formula or those set of functions down here. And I'm going to take this. So you notice now that um, this this trim function, the earlier the trim function didn't work because it didn't it did not remove that trailing space because it was a non-breaking space. So what I can do here now, since I've substituted it and I trimmed it, I can do a Control C to copy, go over here and Control V to paste, or just uh, select this paste and just paste the values. So once I select that, this will work now because what has happened now is it took off that space. It recognized that um, it substituted the non-breaking space with a regular space and then the trim function worked and removed that trailing space there. So there is another example where we can use the trim function to remove a space, more specifically a non-breaking space. In this example, trim was able to take care of that space pretty easily because it was a regular space. We had to do a little bit extra here because we had a non-breaking space, so we had to substitute that with a regular space and then the trim function worked. So those are the two ways that we can use a trim function to remove spaces, regular space and a non-breaking space. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.